Tinubu has directed me to build new IP court in Abuja. Says we can hello great viewers and subscribers. Welcome to my noble channel where we tell you the truth the way it is. Now, according to the news of today, Minister of the Federal Capital Territory FCT, Nelson Wiki, has said that he has received the presidential directive to build a new court of appeal in Abuja. The minister started this at the opening ceremony of the 2023. All Nigerian Judges Conference of the Superior Court of Record at the National Judicial Institute, Abuja, held on Monday. We can explain that the move is in line with President Bola Ahmed Tinibu, the New Hope agenda towards ensuring that the judiciary works in an environment that supports the delivery of justice without fear of favor. To that effect, we can say Tribu has directed the setting up of a new court of appeal division for the FCT, which would be completed in the next 15 months, as well as the construction of houses for judges of the High Court and their counterparts, a magistrate court in the capital city. In Federal Capital Territory Administration, FCTA, we are committed to fostering an environment that supports the judiciary in dispensing justice without fear of fear. We recognize the importance of a well-equipped and adequate staff force as well as the need for continuous education to ensure that our judges are abreast of the latest development in Dance. I am pleased to report that efforts are on the way to enhance the infrastructure of our court facilities, including the welfare of judicial officers. The president has directed that we should, with immediate effort, construct a new court of appeal, division of Abuja, and that must be completed in 15 months. And the president also directed that we should construct house for the FCT judges and magistrates in Abuja and also directed that judges of the Federal High Court in Abuja and the Court of Appeal in Abuja division must be given new quarters, he added. He commended the National Judicial Institute, NJI, for his commitment to providing a platform for judges across the country to converge exchange ideas and engage in substantive discussion on pressing legal issues. We can add that why it, the conference remains one of the most expected events for judges in Nigeria is also provides a platform for them to stay abreast of evolving legal issues, share best practices and collectively strategize on ways to enhance the administration of justice in Nigeria. In this keynote, address the Chief Justice of Nigeria and the Chairman of the Board of Governors of the NJI, Justice Olukayode Ariwola, stressed that the conference is strategic and serves and serves the dual purpose of stock, talking and Visioning. Now that I've come to the end of the news, my analysis. As usual, they have proven to you that they are your godfather. They have proven to you that they don't give them about Nigerians. What they give them is about those who have them into office. You know, I told you few months ago, the Abola Medribu spent so much to become president of Nigeria. And I also told you that he was elected. Inek started it. A big court added before Spring Court. The military also was part of it because they were begged not to plan coup. In fact, so much money was given to them at the process to shut the mouth of several soldiers who they believe would have planned coup. You can see 
This money is your money. This resources is your resources. But few men in Nigeria are using it to do whatever they want. All the promises he made to them while they were busy judging his case. All the whole promises he made to them through the so-called chief judge is what they are fulfilling today. Building off new IP court for them. And the one they have is no longer known for them. Why the masses are suffering? The Nara is going so high. The bag of rice is going so high. People are suffering, dying. These criminals are busy building a picot, building prison, building police station, bribing military, bribing, bribing judges, bribing a picot, bribing everything that needs to be bribed in Nigeria. Just make sure that they continue to remain relevant. Don't doubt me tomorrow. We can also become your president. That is truth. If Tinubu can become a president, why not the week? But he will never get a vote in vote in Ibo land. This time will bomb will destroy that Ibo land. If anybody tried to give week a vote. What I'm saying here in essence is that Nigeria is finished. The youth are cowards. You will see some of them making noise, but once they become small rich, they will no longer talk. They will keep quiet. Minilas will be lost in the election. Did I say he lost? <laughs> Minilas, he was denied his mandate. A mandate of the people. The people become so biased. He saw what happened in Imo State. They allowed themselves to be used. A man who has been sucking their blood for years also became governor again. That to tell the obedient is dead. That's no longer obedient. So any politician, like some of the politicians that are saying that before 2027, they will not be obedient. Don't doubt them. Because obedient is dead. They are not consistent. They cannot be us. We are consistent. And that is why they are afraid of us. And we say, Biafra, Biafra, Biafra. We are not stupid. It's because we know that this contraction can't work. Why not ask yourself this question? How come in a state, a human state, we are a man that is called also them, the blood sucking them, a member of APC, an all court party, rode with iron hand, killed so many of his people after he was forced on people by a one by one tapa. That called himself Chief Church. After everything, today, the same people has voted him again. Every time they say election, it was it not people that man, man, man played the election? Are they not from the same state? Those of them in the collection center who oh, are beating so many people, voting, beating both. Uh, the Labour Party can uh, this thing. are they not some people from Imo State? Where was the non government when they are doing other things? That's what we are talking about. I find Nigeria is consigned today. Both those who claim they are in desperate they are bribed to destroy their first struggle. That is the truth. Everybody. It's part of it. They are busy building a big court. It's one they will be Supreme Court. Next one they will build under court, high court. Where people are there suffering in Nigeria, in hunger, no single factor, nothing to talk to, to boast of. That they will say, this is company, this is fat. People are working here. People must work here. Creation of businesses. That people will venture into work so hard and make their ends meet. Nothing like that sort. What is prefer drug barons? More time you start bringing drug into Nigeria. Maybe you'll be using people to, to call it business. I'm ashamed of Nigerians and the so-called BTNT. J Biafra.